Hello and welcome to your Northern Colorado real estate market update for September 2024. We're going to talk about everything that's going on in Northern Colorado, whether you're a home buyer or a home seller, I can help you out with that. My name is Andy Hawbaker. I'm a realtor in Northern Colorado with Coldwell Banker Realty. And you can always hit me up at my website, which is www.andyhawbaker.com. I'm filming this the first week of September 2024. The data we're looking at is from August 2024, the most recent data that is available to us. So let's dive in and take a look at that. Again, I'm looking at four col the blue line is four columns, red line is Loveland, the yellow line is Windsor, and the gray line is Greeley. So we've got kind of a good mix of the major um, neighborhoods in both Larimer and Weld counties. Okay, so let's start with the number of new listings in Fort Collins. There were 311 new listings. That's up 5.8% from a year ago. Loveland has 192 new listings. That was up 1%. And Windsor, 128 new listings. Greeley, 163. So more homes are coming on the market. I think a lot of people are losing those golden handcuffs, as we call them, where uh, maybe they refinanced in 2020 or 2021 and they got a 3% or 2.75% interest rate and are attached to their home. Now, they, now they're finally seeing interest rates drop enough to where they can get a low 6% or high fives on their next house. So they're not feeling stuck on their house. So I think that's why more homes are coming on the market. Um, and then the homes for sale are steadily increasing here. 591 homes for sale. If you're a home buyer, that's the most homes that have been on the market in a couple of years. So that's fantastic. Uh, 340 in Loveland, Windsor um, up, all of these are up, 283 in Windsor, 245 in Greeley. So more homes are on the market. Um, but that doesn't mean that homes aren't selling. It's not because homes aren't selling. We still had um, a good number of homes go under contract. Um, this has come down just slightly, uh, but 186 homes went under contract in Fort Collins, 77 in Windsor. So homes are going under contract, kind of that normal seasonality as if you look at the three-year graph. Um, the number of closed sales uh, was down 3.2% in Fort Collins, down more in Loveland, up 5.6% in Windsor. So, and up quite a bit actually, 27% in Greeley. So kind of all over the place here, um, but homes are selling, there are transactions happening. So if you're a home seller, don't be concerned that there's not gonna be a buyer for you. So the median number of days on market is from 40 to 50. Uh, you can you could subtract about 30 days off of that. That's usually the number of days that it takes from when you go under contract to when it sells. So on average, probably 20 days to uh, get your home under contract. So that's not looking too bad there. The month's supply of inventory. So our inventory is kind of skyrocketing. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right term, but we've steadily gone up since 2024, where back here it was two weeks worth of inventory. Um, now we're up to three months, four months. So 3.2 months in Loveland and Fort Collins, four months in uh, Windsor, and 2.3 months in Greeley. 2.3 is still pretty low in Greeley. Um, Basically, that means if you took the number of, if no new homes came on the market, check the number of uh, closed transactions, how many months would it take to sell through the inventory that we have? So two to three months, four months worth of inventory really isn't too bad. A balanced market is considered five to six months worth of inventory. So we're looking pretty good on that front, but there are choices. If you're a home buyer, there are choices out there and sellers need to know that too. Uh, you can't overprice your home. Um, however, the values are still really high. Let's look at the median sales price. This is what most people are watching here. Um, in Fort Collins, the median sales price was 532,000, flat 500,000 in Loveland, 605 in Windsor and 415 in Greeley. Those are the median sales prices. So those are a bit flat. Fort Collins and Loveland. Uh, Windsor's actually up 5.6% from a year ago. Greeley's up 3.8% from a year ago. Um, that's the median. Let's just look real quick at the average. Kind of same thing. These are actually all up. Um, the average sale price is up in every community. So um, big thing there for home sellers is uh, it's not like you're going to take a discount. You're still going to make money on the home that you're selling. Um, the market's strong. If you've been on the sidelines waiting for prices to drop, um, hopefully you've given up on that because that will never happen. Um, no time to buy a house better than now. Um, the median uh, price um, per percentage of the original asking price. So we're in the 90s up to 100% in Greeley. That's kind of interesting. That, um, 
people are, so back here, people were paying 104%, 102% of the asking price back in 2001 and two. Now, and then it was kind of close to a hundred percent. We're down just a little bit below that, you know, and level one is 98%. But the reason I'm showing you that as a home buyer is you can't just come in and bid 10% below the asking price. You're probably not going to get that. You're still, um, assuming it's priced well, you're still going to be paying, you know, closer to that asking price. Um, okay. Uh, and then the price per square foot kind of all, it's funny how, you, how different these communities are. $278 in Fort Collins, $251 in Loveland, $211 in Windsor, and Greeley was $195 price per square foot. So this is pretty flat. Uh, I mean, it bounces around month to month. We, we are talking about, this is actually average. Uh, both median and the average kind of bounce around um, based on what sells that particular month, but pretty flat um, to slightly up. Um, actually, these are all uh, just a little bit down um, year over year. So um, so that's that. And then the showings to pending. Let's look at showings per listing first. I think this is a good way to look at this. So on average, a showing is getting four. So from 4.0 to 4.6 showings in a month. So if you put your house on the market, you're not going to have 10 people come look at it that first weekend like you did two or three years ago. Um, you're going to need to be priced right to get people to come. You're going to need your condition to be good, great photog photography and everything else to get people into your house. Um, you're just not going to be flooded with showings. Um, so know that that's why it's taken a couple of months. So this is actually a good way to look at this now. So if only four people look at your house, on average, it takes nine, 10 or 11 people to show the house before you get an offer. So if only four people look at it in the month and it takes 10 to um, get the offer, that's why it's taking two and a half months to get your home under contract. So just know that that's important for home sellers. You're not, this isn't the market that you're gonna get 30 showings in the first weekend and it's going to go under contract immediately. Um, this more likely is a market where it might take some time to get your home sold. Um, but that, you know, there's nothing wrong with your house. If you're only getting like four showings, that's pretty average. Um, if you're priced right, you have really good condition, you have really good um, photos and everything else. Then in that case, you would expect that um, you'll get slightly more showings, you know, assuming, you know, depends on price range, depends on location. So, um, anyways, home sellers, there are opportunities to get your home sold in this market. So, uh, what does this mean for home buyers? There's a, there's inventory out there. You have choice. You can look around, you can maybe bid 10 or no, 2% below the asking price. Um, you probably don't have to, you know, a couple of years ago, you had to like make an offer within minutes of seeing the house. Now you might have a little bit of time. Um, you can negotiate. Uh, buyers have a little bit more negotiating power when it comes to inspections and things like that. So keep all of that in mind. Uh, interest rates have come down. Pe people are still kind of waiting for the September um, meeting of the Fed, which uh, we expect interest rates are going to drop at that point. Um, probably only going to be a quarter percent, might be a half percent. Um, but interest mortgage interest rates don't necessarily follow the Fed funds rates. Mortgage interest rates follow the 10 year treasury with a, you know, like a 2%, 3% uh, yield above that. Um, so I think that's already, these cuts are already figured in. Um, the only thing that's going to happen by waiting is news is going to get out. It's going to be on the TV news, it's going to be in the newspapers, and people are going to hear the interest rates are dropping and then they're going to get in the market. Then there's going to be more competition homes are going to sell for more money. So um, I don't think it pays to wait for that to happen. I think we're kind of in this uh, kind of sweet spot right now. Um, news gets out, the interest rates are coming down, more people get in the market, it's going to cost you more. So you don't save the money by waiting for a quarter percent cut. Uh, it's going to cost you more to buy your house. Okay, so and then if you're a home seller, um, more inventory means you can't overprice. You gotta you gotta uh, consider what your you know your condition has to be great. The price has to be great, uh, has to be well marketed. Um, I can help with all of those things, um, but it is a good time to sell still. And I do think as um, 
news comes out about interest rates dropping, I think more people are going to get in the market. So it could be a good time to sell if there's a reason that you need to move. Uh, you can always hit me up at my website. Like I said, my name is Andy Hawbaker, and you can catch me at www.andyhawbaker.com.